Hello, Dave. Hello. I'm Becky. I'm Davey. And we are mother-daughter co-consultant team for Sensi. And this is what we have warmed in April. April. You know what day it is? April 30th. Can you believe that we're actually on time? I know. And it's the only, crazy. The only reason why we are is because it's a snow day. <laughs> it's snowing, so Stupid. we can't work outside. <laughs> so sad. So this is, I'm not going to go too in depth, but I'll talk a little bit about some of the scent notes. Red berry and spruce. Red berry and spruce has berries pretty much and spruce, and they discontinued the scent, and we really like it. Oh, yeah. The berries and the spruce really shine in this. Oh, the so good. There's something else in there, but they don't always put oh. all the scent notes. But this That's one a here, really good one. we have a lot of. Sun, sun ripened berry has sorbet and I think it's orange sorbet, raspberry, sugar, strawberry, sugar, something like that. This here was the scent of the month from last year in January. Um, just seems kind of out of place. You kind of get the strawberry sugar. It's just not the right time of year to warm it. But we got through that. We like that. Mulberry bush. Mulberries, orange peels. Mulberry can have vanilla, berries. To me, this reminded me of a black cherry. <laughs> Reminds me of what those candies. Pez. Pez, Pez candies. Pez candies? Yep. Oh, that's the first that's what it reminds me of. Pez candies. Yep. And I like that one. Candy cane buttercream. Davy, I believe you warmed this yep. one. Did that one at school. That was a nice, soft, sweet scent. This was a mix I'd gotten, I believe it was from Linda, on caramel apple crave, craze and vanilla waves. And caramel apple craze has red apples, caramels, whipped vanilla, vanilla waves, a sea salt, whipped vanilla, and a caramel. So they're similar. Hmm, and that's a good one. I really like caramel apple craze. Mm, I, I mix, like vanilla waves. I mix these, and the caramel apple craze um, was over it's an interesting combo. Yeah, it overpowered it. So yeah. I think next time I do two to one, um, and I have plenty of each, so I can tr experiment with that again. I love both of these scents separately. Yeah. Yeah, this one here, all I got was caramel apple craze, and I couldn't get the vanilla. Okay. Hug in a mug. I got this warming today. I know. I walked in here and I was like, it smells chocolatey. And she says, I put hug in a mug in just for you. Yeah. That's my favorite. Give you a Love hug. It. And this is chocolate hazelnut cookie dough. This is my favorite mix with vanilla bean buttercream and berry of paradise for Neapolitan. Oh, Not yes. Napoleon, Dave. Not Napoleon. <laughs> Not Napoleon. So hug in a mug. Hazelnut latte is like a cinnamon fluffy latte it's very very soft i put that in my club i got a few of them but i don't know it's just i think made it had some better <laughs> perk me up and this is in the bring back my bar kind of a hazelnut and um it's a type of coffee guatemalan coffee i think and go with, it's it's coffee and oh yeah i mix those two in alternate very warmers. Like, if you were to open up a can of coffee, you know, the fresh, yeah. you know, peel back to seal. It smells amazing. I love that scent. And it wasn't as, whoops, rich and strong as I would have hoped. Let me get my... Uh -oh. Falling apart there. It's yeah, you over. know, it's... Too if many. I only do this once, I'll be on a roll. <laughs> graham cracker crunch. It's one of oh, our favorites. Yep. It's graham crackers, peanut butter, and vanilla bean. It's so good. And this one here, I have mixed this with different berry scents for like a PBJ. Do you have that in your club? I do. <clears throat> and okay. I've also mixed it in with some um, pie scents to bring out more of this crust. People love coming into my room when I have that one going because they're like, where's the food? Where's the food at? <laughs> and they're so disappointed when you say, oh, it's just It's just, it's just scent. You should really have cookies next time you want I that. should. That'd be, or donuts or something. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, I you should. You get brownie points for that. Oh, brownie. look at Take a look at that. Gingerbread donut. I warmed that one at school. That was a good one. And this is basic gingerbread with spiced donut and vanilla bean. And this is one of Davy's favorite. And this well, is that was a part of that trio. 
Okay. And I have the sweet cream spice, which I love, and I wish that would come back. And you really this get this one, and then another one I can't remember. The cinnamon donut in this, and it's it's nice. It smells like those um, oh, like a donut hole. Yum. <laughs> so good. We had butter pecan. We've got a few of these. I've got this in the sugar scrub, a spray, a few scent circles. Mm. And the butter pecan is candied pecans, maple with folded in butter. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. And this is really good. Why don't they bring this back? That's a good. Oh, so it's good by itself, and it's a really good mixer. You really get the pecans in here. Mm Mm-hmm. Almost makes me think of a little maple walnut, too. Oh, yeah. Vanilla bean buttercream. This is one we just mixed. and Which was also, there were like two samples that mom had made that were in this bag yeah the cookie samples yep cookie shape cookie shape and this one here can have a little bit of a play-doh-y play-doh-y scent on its own but it's a pretty basic um mixer it smells more like play-doh outside without any wax in it you know you want to grab the these, these these are the this is the stack that we did down in the basement so mediterranean sea Oh, sorry, excuse me. Mediterranean Spa. It's kind of like a Mar Time Sea Mist Beach Grass. I, it's not one of our favorite type scents. Which is why I was in the basement. I don't know what a spa <laughs> smells like or a Mediterranean Spa. I don't know what a spa smells like either. If it smelled like that, I'd be like, I want my money back. <laughs> I, it's okay. Driftwood and Jasmine. Um, this was a part of the Island Days collection. Got, um... Now, these ones also, we had let sit for about a year. Yeah. And actually, they smelled better, better than when we got them at first. This one here was really strong at first, and it softened. I really like this. It's got your driftwood and jasmine with some Tahitian vanilla, which is like a florally vanilla. And it was it's actually quite good. I'm kind yeah. of sad we warmed through it, but... But, it, but we certainly enjoyed it. Uh, start apple and free... Freesia. 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 I always say... Oh, I said it because it's the I-A. That's why. I always say Freesia. I it's know the it's... the I-A. I know it's Freesia. Freesia. But I say Freesia because we grow this and I still call it Freesia, but it's yeah. pronounced Freesia. Freesia. Okay. So this is another one, Island Days Collection, um, that warmed down the basement and that one was a really good uh, thrower. If this has got your your star apple, mango, Freesia. Free, Freesia. <laughs> Yeah. And it was good. One of us is a softball player. A <laughs> gridiron rush. Um, this was one. It's got sandalwood citrus, apple grass, and it smells like a guy's it locker room. It smells with like B. a stinky boy's locker room. With B.O. And I know because I was a manager for wrestler for 7th through 11th grade, and I know what that smells like, and that's what it smells like. Yeah, so <laughs> that was our basement scent. Yeah. Then we got four. Oh, those are all the same? Oh, funny. Yep. Oats and honey, oats which and is honey. one of my favorites. It's oats, honey, vanilla, maple. And I. this is just a bakery, buttery, rich. We got through two almond croissants, which oh, yeah. is your croissants with a little bit of cinnamon sugar. I don't know if I want to it empty. This is about mm. as much cinnamon as I like in a scent. You can't even smell you it. You can't even smell it. No, it's but just... But there's cinnamon in this? It, that's what they... Oh, it says? Cinnamon sugar. Oh, so it's See, like a and I don't buttery croissant that like you like if you were to go get a pastry, you know, and it's like the the really good layered one, you know, you can peel layer by layer yeah. back. That's what it mm. like the puff pastry. Yes. Vanilla cream and again we got two different labels at the oh, same yes. time. This Kinda is funny. the last bring back my bar that was offered in January. And it's got vanilla and some coconut milk in it. They oh, say it's yeah. just like simply vanilla. I like it. The coconut milk is very soft. It's a very soft yeah. vanilla. If, if you I think, get more of the cream. But, like, okay. um, you Let know, cream, coffee cream. If you were to burn some of the old 1980s vanilla candles, it kind of reminded of this, that type of vanilla. It's not oh. like a sugary. And then we got through a couple of salted caramel Cupcake. I like it. It's soft. It's mm. not a real good one for aging, so we keep it in the club to warm. And I know some people got. Did bark. you look to see if I missed that? 
I made it. I made it. <laughs> Some people talk about that they put these in the club so they always get fresh bars and they'll look on the date, which is right here, and I can't see it. And the oh, one so girl got one that was like five years old, and it, she said it it was rancid. You can see it, but I can't read it. Yeah, it's hard. You almost you have to peel back the label. So this here was yeah. in a, I think, a sense of the season many years ago. It came out in a brick. And I really like this, the salted caramel top. Yeah, I like it. A couple puffs. Oh, that one I missed. Did you hear that, folks? She missed. Overshot. Overshot that one. Strawberry <laughs> swirl. I had one that had like two cubes left in it, and then my friend Robin gifted me a whole one. So this is strawberry milk and vanilla. And then berry, a paradise is also strawberry, bear, bird of paradise, and vanilla. And this is like strawberry milk. <coughs> Sorry. And I really like that one in my mix. Which one was the one you mix? You mix this one with the yeah, Neapolitan. Neapolitan. I've done strawberry swirl. I like strawberry rose with vanilla. I think I've got a little bit of that left too. Oh, yeah. And then for um, this, I'll go through this one. Cutie Pie Cupcake was Bring Back My Bar last June, I want to say. It's clementine, yellow cake, vanilla. I really, really like it. It kind of gives me this morning cereal vibe, fruit, but but with cake. Cake, 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 cake. Yeah. Morning cereal. Like a... What's the one with the bird? Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops? But not. With Tukey? Tukey. <laughs> Toucan. Nope. I'm going to make it. And yes. then these two we warm together. Oh, yeah. Cotton Candy Cookie is kind of raspberries, cotton candy, and cookies. So good. Angel um, Experiment 624 is kind of um, got goji berries, blackberries, and sugar cane. Now, these two are kind of... They're this- very... Similar. Similar. This one's like the lighter. It that's more berry. Yeah, but they're super similar. So when I put this in one room and this in the other, so you will walk through room to room and they played on each other really well. Yes. This one here they said was one of the highest rated club ones. I don't get that. This one. Experiment six two six. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a second here. It's got. Valencia, uh, Valencia orange pineapple sugarcane sea salt mist. I don't get any of that. I get fancy soap hair conditioner. That's what it reminds me of. I put it in the bathroom and it's just soap. Reminds per- me of soap. Perfumey and smoke. like hotel soap. Okay. Oh, barely. Inner <laughs> peace was another bring back my bar from last year, and this year has it's supposed to be like woods with lemon grove cypress. And to me, when I warm this, it's powdery lemon. If you were to take a lemon and just call it powdery, this is what I get. So powdery lemons. Yes? Yeah. Flower Child, another bring back my bar that I really didn't like. This is like gardenia, sandalwood, and berries. It's very perfumey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very perfumey. And if you like perfume scents, you'd probably like it. There's people who don't like bakery scents, like, and we do, and so. Very. Yeah, very, very perfumey. perfumey. Pink Sunshine was this year. I want to say if it was the Valentine's or Easter collection. I forget. But oh. this one here has Lush Pear, Cashmere, Rose Milk, Plum. You definitely get the pear. A little bit of the cashmere. I, I like it. I enjoyed it. I didn't club it, but I've got another bar, and I'm I'm enjoying it. I get a hint of, like, smoky. Are you sure that's not our fire? No, I smell smoky. So you get the woods out of that? Yeah. I Well, it doesn't have woods in it. At least. I know, but it smells like... Lush pear, cashmere, rose milk, plum. Nope, Maybe I don't smell any of that. I smell like a cedary, smoky. Nope, I get pear. <laughs> That's so funny. No, I smell like a cedar smoke smell. I get something else though in it too, and I can't figure out what it is. Not rose milk. It's not cashmere. It's not plum. So maybe that's what you're picking up. And you know, you have picked out chocolate incense. True. That 
I know, so. pink sunshine and smoke don't match at all, but that's what I smell. Lemon drizzle cake. And that, this was last year's Easter collection, and this is like a butter cake with lilac sugar. And the pods. And I like the pod better than the wax. Yeah. These are nice to have. I know we've got a little fan by our dryer. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's nice just to turn that on. You want to boost a fresh air. Yeah. Lemon coconut chiffon. Uh, this is, this brings back memories. I had COVID when this came out last June. Bring back my bar. It's lemons with like a buttery custard cake. And when I smelt it, all I got was french fries for months. <laughs> and I warmed it the other day. Nope, and it, it was, smells like It was lemon. fabulous. It was wonderful. <laughs> and I took it out of my club. So if you put something in your club, don't be so quick to take it out. This is one that I took out. I'm glad I got a stock of these, but... Okay, yeah. Yep. So we'll pull out our vendors now. Hello. Hello. We're back with our What We Warmed in Vendor Wax in, in April. April. So here we go. We went through one big thing of jumbo cotton balls. And one, two of the mega cotton balls. And Oops, sorry. when we do our wax, we do a hot dump and then wipe out with the cotton balls and then use the cotton balls in the odd-shaped jars. Yes. And then we have bonfires, and when we put in our pail of wax, it goes for days. And then um, some of the odd-shaped warmers we put in the parchment little cups just to help because um, those ones, the square ones are kind of awkward to try and yeah pull and, and dump from. So, and this one here, when I put one of these in, I leave it in for one to two weeks. Even if it leaks a little bit, I don't care. Oh, yeah. I've got one in my wall warmer right now, the smaller version. Yeah. And it's been in there probably for like a month. <laughs> yeah. But it's fine. Like, it just, it eventually needs to get changed. But you can make those last a long time. Now, this here is one of the um, vendor wax that's highly praised about that doesn't do well in our home. Nope. This one chestnuts and brown sugar did really well in our home fall foliage and then country kettle corn this one i know you're hoping was going to be really strong and booming but yeah i warmed this last year and i didn't get anything so i let it sit for like nine months mm -hmm. and it smells magnificent when you smell it but it just didn't perform in our house and it could be our house we have pets we live out in the woods you know we have got a lot of wool it, it, there's a lot of things that can factor into it. Factor into it. These were gifts from Robin and Brandy. Did I, oh, these ones were all from Robin. Okay. Phantoms. And of these the are Mi Ella After. Ella After Wax. You want to hold those? Yeah. This one, Phantoms of the Mind. Oh, this one was really good. This one was a powdery peach to me. I thought cranberry peaches and Earl Grey. It was a powdery peach. It was so good. Oh, yeah. Mm. Lady Capulet is the next one? Yep. Right? yep. French toast. I have a hard time with a lot of French toast scents. I get a lot of weird notes on mm. this. But you could definitely get the raspberries in that, and that was very good. Rocky Point Treats. This one was really good. Mixed berries, vanilla ice cream, waffle cone. Thank you so much, Robin. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Caramel Kettle Corn. And this one was good. It, I used this in the studio. I would have liked to have had it um, throughout the house. Oh, yeah. But I, enough throughout the house. Um, vintage Chic, a couple of them. Drop Dead Moron, Peanut Butter Fudge, Butterscotch. This one wasn't as strong. I normally have really good... Um, mm, yeah. I get a light butterscotch. Yeah. And... The, and Vintage Chic, Thackeray Binks. Again, pumpkin pu cupcakes, French toast, syrup. And I have a real hard time with so many waxes that say French toast and syrup. I get anise. I get this oh. weird note from it. So I don't think it's their fault. It's just what my nose picks what up. What your nose smells, yeah. And Billy then Billy Bosa Nova's lemon sugar bunt cake. And this was so delicious. Here. And now she's going out... This is her last her year. Her last year, right? Okay. Yep. So if you like some of her scents, stock up. I'm waiting for some of my favorites. And they might not come up. She might be out of the oils. True. 
but this here was absolutely delicious. And these are some miscellaneous ones. Amy got me on to this vendor up the, yeah, creek, up the scent, creek. And I warmed this with bayberry and silver oak. I warmed it on a day that was snowing. It was very good. This was a gift from Robin Lux Melts Caramel Apple. This was very, very delicious. This is my first um, try of Zeep. I think it's Zeep. This also is from Robin Mama's Pecan Pie. This was Zape. Zape. The Zape. When I say zip, zip, <laughs> that's okay. And this here was very fudgy wax. You could just break Mama's it. Mama's pecan pie. Yeah, it was very good. Ooh, yeah. Definitely Ooh. got the pecan pie. Naughty Nutcracker from L3 Waxy Wonders. Another one Amy got me on. I love this. The roasted, oh, yeah, the roasted chest chestnuts and the sweet maple coffee and vanilla. This was so delicious. I want that again. Destination Wax Moon Spice Cookie. I let this one age. We got this one. This is from last year. Aging it really made it nice. It smelled like mm. snickerdoodles with a cup of coffee. That's what it Ooh, reminded yeah. me. This one, another one we let age from Scoopable Wax Tart. Mm -hmm. Extreme Strawberry Twinkies. Yeah, that was good. The other day you had that going. Yeah. And, and I I've... walked in. And sometimes you can smell it outside of the house. That's when you know it's good and strong. Ooh. You can smell it before you even walk in the door. I have three of her strawberry Twinkies. I think one is strawberry ice cream cake. And this one here was very good. I think that was a quarter pie. Um, let me go through Teddy B's here. I just wanted to make a note. This is almost used up. I did order a couple. <laughs> I love this. This this one here was poured last summer. I let this age. I would put this in and I put a chunk in in our bedroom. It went for three days. It was beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. So you'll see that empty coming soon. St. <laughs> Valentine was one of our samples. Pink, sugar, earl, gray, balsam, and vanilla bean. When I warmed it, it really reminded me of something. I get the balsam. Oh, yeah, I get the balsam. I get the, it's like a sweet balsam. Yeah, it's like Valentine mm. flirted with Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Apocalypse. <laughs> this go. was yeah. another one that I absolutely love. Marshmallow, boardwalk. Cashmere, sandalwood, vanilla beans, cedar. Yep, that was very, very good. Surfside Sweet Shop. I've got two tubs of these. Birthday cake with beach treats. Oh, yeah. And I'm kind of birthday or uh, beach treated out, but this was really good. Okay. Went for days. Milk and cookies. This was good last year. I think I let it. Sit too long because I vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, buttery cookie dough. Yeah, I had that in the other day and I didn't get it a lot. So, some will benefit from aging to me to in our house, and some um, benefit for a magic amount of time. And yeah, and some of them don't age well, so no. you have to use them when you get them. Um, here's from Rose Girl I seriously love you. I seriously love this one too. <laughs> Blackberry Fruit Loops Cotton Candy Frosting. Sweet Lavender Cotton Candy Frosting Buttermint. That was a good lavender one at night. Gilligan's Brew. Oh, yeah, that was a good coffee one. Coffee one? Yeah. This is one that she hoarded in her room and didn't share. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. Wackadoodle Royal Sugar Cookie Monster Cookie. Very good. Pistachio Whipped, I whipped Cream Icing. That was a yummy one. Very good. Blueberry Jelly Donut. Lemon Danish ice cream. I still got one of these. This is good. And as sweet as can be. Very good. This one here, um, I just warmed this one recently. And this is another one. I liked it a lot better this year. I got more of the almond macaron mm. coming out. Oh, you want to do this pile? Sure. All right, so this is all from Sassy Girls. We did a couple of samples. So Friends Gather. Here's a Friends Gather. Oh, Okay. Aroma of bourbon, glazed apples, a touch of sweet maple. Yeah. Yeah. And it was very... That's fall. Fallish. Yeah. It's cinnamon. But yeah. it, there's something magical about it. But not overpowering with the cinnamon. No. I think it's the maple and the bourbon in there. It's, mm. it's very good. Uh, One that we did, another one was a dark teak wood. That one I'm pretty sure we did out in the basement. Yep. And Apple's Mahogany. Another one we did in the basement. Yum. 
Oh, this one, um, Adam's Beach Party, I warmed. That one we got last year? Yep, Last July. summer. Um, so that warmed and stayed, oh, sorry, that one sat for a long time. It smelled good. A Star is Born. This one here was absolutely delicious. I'd buy this one. Two scoops. And this one here, you definitely got the grapes in there. Very fruity. Grime Buster. I know that was a good uh, cleaning scent, laundry clean one. scent laundry one. S'mores Coffee. This one here we let age almost a year. And, and we was, just warmed that last and it weekend. it was so good. It lasted all day. When we first got it, it smelled kind of strong, so we let it sit. Mm. And it brought out these softer notes of the toasted marshmallow and graham crackers. It was just delicious. Fall Yoga Pants by the Fire. A favorite. Yep. Alibaba. Uh, another favorite. Favorite. <laughs> num num. I bought four of these. Pretzel, yes, you did. Green apple. <laughs> Big Bird's birthday. Oh, yeah. Lemon curd walking down the street carrying cotton candy. Mm -hmm. Cherry birthday cake. Tried. I tried to like this. I still got another one. I'm going to let it sit. Oh, yeah. It was just, I think the cherries were too strong. I think, again, when I warm this, I'm going to mix in a little extra buttercream or cake. Just okay. try and soften to it. To try and soften it. Rage. Another favorite, Rustic Talk Lodge, which has like an apple cider and then blueberry muffin. This is very, very good. Peanuts and pumpkin brittle. I love this. I have this going <laughs> today. And yes. I, it smells so good. So good. This was my September scent. And I bought three of these. It won't be enough. <laughs> won't be enough. Should have bought more. Charlie's Cafe. This is one of our favorite uh, coffee scents. So the pumpkin pecan waffles, hazelnut cream latte. This one we Would should buy more of if yes. she ever comes out with it. And it, the latte, again, when it's a latte, it's not as strong. It's not like an espresso coffee. Mm -mm. But it's delicious. Another wonderful coffee scent, IHOP, pumpkin, this, pecan, maple syrup, brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. We Another love fave. Saturday mornings when we can warm that. Mm -hmm. Going crazy. That was a really good pistachio scent. I just cut up some, I think in a little muffin, I cut up one. Yeah, you were so, cutting them up this morning. Excited to have some more of that. Dynamite Diva. I had three cubes left. I was saving it till it was offered again. It was offered again, so I just bought that. And this went for days. You really get the creamsicle. Fizzy creamsicle. Ooh, out of the bread box. We this... just got that, and I've got a little, I've got one of those still left. And you really get the caramel, and I really liked it. Marie. Oh, this was a good one. Here, can I smell that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this was the one you really get the the sea salt breeze, the marshmallow, so the that's sandalwood. This one smells really good. I like that. And I hear this is a favorite. And I ordered this one for you. Yes. So I have another one coming of that because I ordered that for you. Oh, yeah, look at this. is the share one that guess who forgot to share. I noticed when I used it up, I thought, oh, I was supposed to share this. This yeah. was really, really good. It's funny. You've got one share one, too, but I took a better share one. Yeah. Oh, bakery, yes. <gasps> Pretzels in the kitchen. Yum, yum, yum. I warmed that yesterday. Pretzels, marshmallow, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, vanilla, budge. So good. That's her in the kitchen. Oh. All of this part here. The marshmallow, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla, budge, butter. Yep, and then you can get huckleberries, blueberries, whatever. Oh, yeah. Lots of combos kitchen. of in the kitchen. Rolling pin. Oh, this was a really good one. This is so good. Again, pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie dough birthday cake. We are a fan of pumpkin pecan waffle mixes. Mm -hmm. Bob Jones. This one here, brown sugar zucchini bread old town bake shop. I wish this was more brown sugar. This was the really cinnamony one, right? Well, it wasn't cinnamony. Um, I thought so. Yeah, there's some cinnamon in it. It just wasn't. I was hoping for. In your face, more like sugar. a sweet. Uh, rolling scones. This was very, very good. I would buy this again. When we first got it, I thought I smelled the vanilla. You thought it was similar to rolling pin, right, or something? Yeah, and it was. But when I first smelled this, I thought the vanilla bean Noel had a little perfume note. But when I warmed it, it did not. It and it was, was good. So good. So that's delicious. Another IHOP. Yep. No. 
Strawberry cupcakes. This is very good. Num num. Groot. Oh, this is really good. I am Groot. Uh, piney birch vanilla scent. That's really good. You have to be in the mood for that. Yeah, it's past the season of that, I think. We'll get back yeah. to that again next fall. Next fall. Return to Oz. This is a really great. I always get the pumpkin pecan blackberry jam. It's so good. We tend to love everything pecan, pumpkin pecan waffles. Smurfs in the kitchen. Oh, same thing now. This blueberry. is the blueberry. Yep, with the in, with ki- the, in the kitchen mix. Cupcake at Tiffany's. That was good. I didn't want that, but you did. Return to Oz. Same. Uh-huh. Another one. Really like that. White Worm. This was a really good one. Very soft. The butterscotch bourbon. The bourbon was, you could um, smell it, but it wasn't overpowering. So I really like that one. And Big Bird's Birthday. Another, lem- Another one. Lemon curd walking down the street carrying cotton candy. <laughs> and then Harper James. Santa suit. This is cinnamony. Sweet. I don't know the oh. scent notes. That was a sample we'd gotten mm, yeah. from last fall. Bricks and Ivy. I have more of this coming. It's very green. Very green. And this is one I love to warm in May and June. Oh, yeah. And we have snow right now. It's so funny. Is this is though? very good. Is it funny? <laughs> sea Minerals. Another one. This is so delicious. It's o- not delicious. This is so fresh. Ozone, linen. I get the sea salt. Freezy- freesia, not so much. Moss, yes. I get the moss. Kind of get the linen. Mm. It's very fresh. It's one yeah. of my absolute favorite bathroom scents. <laughs> mm. So good. Um, honey cornbread. Oh, this was a really good soft one. Really surprised by that. I like that a lot. Vanilla wafer. This one I probably could have let sit for a little bit. Didn't get as much out of it. We get a little impatient. <laughs> Rudolph. Chocolate covered peanuts is what it smelled like. Cotton candy. That was good. This one here, one of Davies. Butter popcorn with my mix of caramel. And like stay salty would it, be the it, other one. It's in there. Okay. Carrot cake. This one was from last year, and it really aged well. Smelled just like carrot cake. <laughs> Green wind sugar, please. This is so good. Sweet, creamy car- caramel. One of our favorite Saturday morning coffee scents. Oh, look, another caramel. Another drink. caramel. <laughs> Donut house pancakes. And I must confess, there's a few of these that I warmed some and I shared some. Oh, okay. So while I didn't warm this entire thing, I did warm a couple rows of it. Peep show. And this here was from last year, and I got new ones this year. I love this. The peeps, fruity rings, kind of like your Fruit Loops Mm -hmm. and cake. Grand Slam. This is one of our favorites. Kettle corn, bourbon, butterscotch. Mm -hmm. That's a great scent to have on movie nights. Mm, Yeah. That's That's a good one. Salty Armel. Salty apple. Another one of mom's favorites. The salted pretzel, the mac apple, caramel, maple, sugar cookie. She does. Mary does the best salty salty caramel scents ever. And this apple, I will say, it's got a little perfume apple to it. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Salted pretzel. We love this one. Love that one. Salted pretzel and stay salty. These two are from last fall. Oh, yeah. Look at August. 822. And I just warmed the last of it and it was so good. I put this one in and I was blown away. Then I put this one in the next mm. day and I was blown away. And I can't wait for these to come back because I will definitely I know. order. Come fall. We're fall oh. scent people. Yeah, we are. So that's what we warmed in April. I know, we're on time. You know what I'm going to do for me? I'm going to follow Patricia Gates and I'm going to oh. do all the days. I've got the wax picked out. Okay. That's cool. In one particular warmer, and then the rest I'll put in what I feel like. (laughs) Oh, okay. Cool. Well, thanks, everybody, for listening.